Hello, all you beautiful cusp individuals, Aries, Taurus, cusp, Taurus, Gemini, cusp, Gemini, Cancer, Cancer, Leo, Leo, Virgo, Virgo, Libra, Libra, Scorpio, Scorpio, Sag, Sagittarius, Capricorn, Capricorn, Aquarius, Aquarius, Pisces, Pisces, Aries, cusp, hey, all us beautiful cusp, how are you all doing? And you heard me say us, okay, because I am a cusp myself, y'all. How, y'all, I just want to say, I'm going to give y'all some inside scoop, okay, on me. All right, so I am an Aquarius Pisces cusp. I started me a YouTube channel like a little over two years ago. It wasn't here um, on Tierica Love. It was called Tierica Oracles of Love, all right? And I was so into uh, readings, you know, I got me a reading done. And they, the reader told me I have, uh, you know, special gifts. I always wanted to know. How come it is that I attract so many people? Okay, so I just wanted to know. I really tapped into myself, started to learn myself. And as I was looking at readings, I'm like, um, I'm Aquarius Pisces because who do I look at? Okay, because people doing Aquarius or people doing, you know, and they're doing Pisces, but then they're not doing both. So I decided over two years ago to start doing Cusp on my channel. Now, fast forward, um, y'all, I'm a little, I'm growing, okay? I'm growing and I'm learning. But I did get, I got into a little trouble here, all right? Not here on YouTube, but yeah, out here in the real world, y'all. And I just, um, like I had to do some reflecting. Um, I stepped away from my channel for about 90 or so days. And, uh, but I was actually doing really good because there was no one else doing cusp readings, okay? So now when I come back and I start Tierra Love, and I'm like, I'm about to jump back into it. And I start my channel here, y'all. And I'm noticing like a lot of people now is doing cusp. But I'm like, these people are not even a cusp. Are they even cusp you know they just i don't know because i don't know y'all but so i feel i just want y'all to know that i do feel really uh connected to all of my beautiful cusp okay all of you all all right and i really am trying to help us to <clears throat> get through life here you know with us being dual it can become a little complicated you know you got have air have water um have fire earth um you got earth you got fire, yeah, you got fire and water. You know, it's just, we all mixed all up here, okay? And so, I forgot somebody, y'all. But I didn't. But I didn't because I named out everybody. Yeah. All right. But, yeah. So, this is my goal. This is my mission, okay? So, I decided to do a video, y'all. We all together. Okay, so it's for all the cusps. We're going to get the overall energy here. We're going to look into your love interests. Uh, we're going to get the situation between you two. And I'm going to, for every cusp, Aries, Taurus, all the way to Pisces, Aries, we're going to see how this person feel about you all. All right. End it off with some advice and then we're going to be done. Okay. Y'all let me know in the comment section what you think about the video and i just want to say to all of you beautiful cusp thank you so much for all your love support um comments subscriptions and just just all the wonderful energy that you all put towards me therefore i can give it back or i put it towards y'all y'all give it back you know it's just an exchange and great positive energy and i just love it and i just want to verbally say i appreciate it okay all right now, all that jibber-jabber got that out of the way, y'all. Let's look at the overall energy here for all my cuss. Give me the overall energy of their romantic connection at this time, okay? Overall energy of this connection between all my beautiful cuss and the love interest here. Excluding myself, y'all, because I'm focused. I focus on building my empire. Okay, so I ain't even I ain't even in it. All right, I ain't in it. Okay, so one more shuffle, y'all. Overall energy. Okay, let's get the overall energy of this love connection. 
between all cusps and their love interest here. Firm foundation. You all are wanting to build on a firm foundation. Wanting more structure here. Um, let's see. Let's get the overall energy here. Right, we know that four is about stability. It's about structure here. And you're putting all troubles behind you and you're focusing on building a firm foundation, okay? You got patience and planning. Right now, you all are in this energy of patiently planning ahead, okay? This is the number seven. Seven is about acknowledgement acknowledgement gaining or uh, doing some accessing uh, assessing the situation accessing yourself here all right um doing some assessment of things okay and let's see let's get one more here on your overall energy cusp okay you have financial and material changes all right so you all could be going through right now some financial material changes here uh five is about Maybe some conflicts or some instability or you just needing to make certain choices here. Make some decisions, all right? And these decisions need to be wrapped around this firm foundation that you're wanting to build in your romantic connection and throughout life, all right? You got to continue to move towards that. Um, gain all the knowledge that you need to have to con and be patient as you build, okay? Now, let's look at this person here that you're dealing with. Okay, cusp. Oh my cusp, tell me about this. You know, this person that your love interest. Okay, tell me about the cusp love interest here. And there's going to be so much energy here, y'all, in this reading. Like, it really is. Because it's like, it really is. <laughs> All right, now, tell me about the cusp love interest here. Okay, some of you all are dealing with someone who could be trying to sabotage the situation. Maybe they sabotaging themselves here. They could like the color uh, red here, okay? Some of you all, your person could be a blonde, all right? Let's see, you have romantic, all right? So you could be dealing with, this person could be a very uh, romantic here. Someone who, let's see, it's like this romantic energy. It says romantic, but it's like she's contemplating, should I offer my rose here? Should I offer my love here, okay? Then you got the achiever. So you're dealing with someone who is um, an achiever as well. Someone who pretty much is going to do what they want to achieve. What they are trying to achieve. If they're not allowing someone to sabotage here them. Okay. You got the performer. Okay. So for some of you all, you could be dealing with someone who puts on a show. All right. Whether that, whether they are getting paid to perform or not. Okay. Uh, let's see. You have water here. So you're dealing with someone who is a bit emotional. Um, okay. Could be very emotional here. But maybe hiding it. Maybe they're not expressing it too much. All this, with all this energy here, every last one of their mouths are like closed. So I don't know if this person really communicates to you how they feel. All right. Now let's look at the situation. Now let's look at the situation between Cus and this person. Then we're going to see how this person feel about you. Going all the way down the line here from Aries to Aries Cusp and Pisces Aries to Aries to Pisces Aries, y'all. Sorry. Okay. All right. Now we're going to get the situation between Cusp and their love interests. 
All right, you got present and gratitude here. All right, someone is feeling grateful to have you in their presence. Okay, or you feel grateful to have this person at this time. All right, you got remember an awakening. Okay, so you and this person could be going through some type of awakening. A lot of you cusp are dealing with someone that you have um, been dealing with here maybe for a while. All right, you're ready for. You're just ready to spread your wings. You're ready for new opportunities to come towards you and this person. You know, you're ready, you're ready for more compassion. You're ready for more nurturing type of energy uh, coming from your love interest. All right. Let's see. There could be some type of deception or maybe it's hard for you to kind of believe here what this, this person says to you. All right. You got attraction. So there is a lot of attraction between you and this person. It could be passionate here. It's chemistry. Or, you know, when it comes to maybe it's, it's heated attraction. It's like fiery attraction as well. Maybe, you know, things could get um, kind of hot uh, between you two. All right. So situation here. You are focused on foreign... Forming this solid foundation, you want more structure here in this connection, okay, between you and your love interest, all right? Now, y'all, we're going to go through, start with a resource, cuss on down, let's see how does this person feel about you here, okay? All right, starting with a resource, cuss on all the way through all the cuss, in and off with Pisces, Aries, cuss. I want to see how does this person feel about you. We gotta get these like we gotta get these some shuffle shuffle, okay? Shuffle shuffle. Oh wait, oh. Alright, I guess we ready because one pops out overall overall energy got proposal. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what this proposal is about. That one popped out. Okay. So, Aries, Taurus, cuz, how does this person feel about you? You got choose love and a happy ever after. They want you to choose love. They want a happy ever after with you. Uh, Taurus, Gemini, cuz, uh, you all are moving into a new level of unconditional love, but you have to take it slow. Maybe you're dealing, your person could be a bit shy, okay? Gemini, Cancer, cuz, uh, the gate is closed. It's not the right time because someone in this connection is regretting here some things, okay? Okay. Cancer Leo, because there is some unrequited love because someone is needing more space to nourish their soul. Okay, Leo Virgo, because you got time with friends. You could have met this person through your friends here, uh, but this person has some trust issues. Okay, Virgo Libra, because there are some arguments here between you two, and someone is needing to release the pain and uh, work on healing their heart. Okay. Libra Scorpio cusp. All right, this person could be watching you here, commenting, stalking you on your social media pages. Um, they, but they are not sure what this may be here. The potential to happen is there, okay? So they got to get more information, Libra Scorpio cusp, okay? Now, Scorpio Sagittarius cusp, you got planning ahead and a happy family. So this person is waiting on divine timing here, waiting to plan ahead to create this happy family here, okay? Sagittarius Capricorn cusp. This person is on the fence here. No decision has been made. They have to release what no longer serves them or who no longer serves them, okay? Capricorn Aquarius Cusp. You got children and date night, all right? So this person could be wanting, uh, thinking about starting here. You know, thinking about this connection that they are wanting to start with you. You could be getting asked out on a date pretty soon, okay? Aquarius, Pisces, because you got the change of heart here, perhaps an ex-lover. So this is saying to me that if you're dealing with someone, yep, yeah, from the past or ex-lover, someone in this, your person is having a change of heart, okay? And Pisces, Aries, because you got the hands of time. This, this person is wanting to grow with you here, uh, but they are needing... Some time alone, maybe retreat. Um, just some time to go find their self, okay? All right. Now, um, let's 
y'all let me know okay that's all because now let's get you all some advice let's get some advice here let's get some advice Da, 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 dee, dee, dee. All right. Get some advice for these cusp and these romantic connections. You have betrayal here. So if you're feeling a bit of betrayal, you got to trust this part of your journey, understanding that through pain, this is teaching you and others to love more deeply and in a higher divine capacity. Okay. You have soulmates. All right, so your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. A lot of you all are dealing with your soulmate, all right? Okay, you got attract here. So you need to set your intentions high and know that you deserve to receive love, joy, and happiness, all right? So focus on what you want to attract, okay? All right, you got external party here. So there are some karmic contracts family, finances, and other material concerns or responsibilities that are causing interference and some type of stress here in your all's connections, okay? And you got true love. So this love is emotional, physical, and unconditional, all right? All right, so Cusp, these are your messages. I hope that they will be helpful. Y'all let me know in the comment section. Comment. Comment section what you think okay i salute the divinity in you all i am sending you all so much love so much light so much positivity and i see you all next time i think if y'all if y'all come in and let me know how you feel about this here then i'll keep going i keep doing it okay y'all know me full of ideas i'd be like oh let me try this oh i can try this oh y'all but i need to hear from y'all to know if y'all like it or if it worked you know okay all right. Love y'all so much. I will see you all next time. Bye.